Look, I think anyone who hasn't tried gliding should give it a go at least once in their life. Last Christmas I took a lady up from Queensland who was 94 just for an introductory flight and she absolutely had a wonderful time. So sport was really established in Germany after the First World War. The Treaty of Versailles prevented Germany from maintaining an air force. So the Germans being very uh, inventive um, kept their pilots in uh, currency with their flying by having them fly gliders. Mount Beauty Gliding Club was established in 1976 by uh, two of our members who sadly died last year. It was Ray Adensel and Manfred Roof. They were both very keen uh, glider pilots and they saw this as being a beautiful sight to fly. So they established a club with uh, just a few members. Uh, on the airfield currently there's about 10 gliders, uh, two club ones and the rest are private. Gliders can be made of uh, several materials. Most modern gliders are made of fibreglass or carbon fibre. A very strong safety procedures. We have checks that we carry out on the ground before we can climb into the glider. Gliders are generally non-powered, although we do have a self-launching glider. They're generally towed into the air by either a tow plane or, as Mount Beauty uses, it's a high-powered V8 winch which is basically a V8 on the back of a truck with a large drum and that reels in a long wire and the glider goes up a bit like a kite. My greatest buzz with gliding is taking up passengers, just uh, enjoying their excitement when they, they see the scenery and they, they wonder how they're staying up there, there's no engine, how do they start? Gliders fly just the same as any other aircraft, so they, they fly with the wings, the aerofoil of the wing producing lift. The difference being is the glider is always flying downwards. To stay up it uses several types of air currents, uh, warm air rises, and that's called a thermal and a glider will fly into the thermal and circle much like you see birds doing and it will get carried up providing the, the rising air is rising faster than the descent rate of a glider. There's also uh, what we call ridge lift and we're fortunate to have a lot of that around Mount Beauty. That's where a prevailing wind is deflected by a mountain range or a ridge and if the glider flies in front of the hill it will also rise with the rising air. It's a very pure sport because you're not creating pollution. You're copying the birds, you watch what the birds are doing. I frequently would uh, follow the ibis, you get flocks of ibis up there thermally, so I'll go and drop in on them and enjoy the thermal with them. Gliders can stay up for five or six hours on a, on a general a good day. The world record to date was uh, 54 hours. I've recently sent five junior pilots solo at age 15, which is the minimum age for flying a glider. So they can fly a glider three years before they're allowed to drive a car. Very important for clubs around Australia to encourage more younger pilots to take over from us older people. So that we don't go the way of many clubs in Australia. Uh, unfortunately there's been clubs that have closed down in recent years. It's not just about flying. So there's a bit of team sport, team effort, and you share the stories at the end of the day. Personally, I, um, I just love the, the challenge and the, the beauty of being up in the air, looking down on everybody else. I guess you feel like a bit of a king, looking at all the ants down on the ground. It's just a wonderful experience. You feel like a bird, you really feel like an eagle when you're up there.